serious business here today. A civil suit, Wade v. Golden. A burglary has allegedly been committed. An invaluable family heirloom is missing. I am offended that you can take my watch and more offended that you can put me on trial. They didn't fire her because they believed that she had stolen. They fired her because one of their powerful clients wanted her fired. We really don't have a justice system in America. We have a dispute resolution system. I'm not going to adjudicate the matter of Wade v. Golden. You are. When Mr. Golden asked you to check your shoulder bag, what did you think? To ask me if I might have it? I thought, oh man, here we go. Let's talk about some of the things you saw on stage. How it made you feel. What did you think? Did it challenge anything about your perceptions? There would be a lot of problems solved if people didn't look at your skin color first. One of the things that this really made me challenge is a lot of my own privileges. I might have been born into a situation, but through sheer determination, I believed I had overcome my situation. Yes, I grew up in Winnetka. Yes, I have lived there most of my adult life. But that doesn't mean that you get to say that you know who somebody is because you know where they go to bed at night. When you don't want your child to marry a Catholic, a Protestant, Muslim, a Hindu, a Presbyterian, at the end of the day, isn't that just old-fashioned prejudice? The greatest respect that you can show for another human being is just that. You treat them not like a, a, a black, a Jew, an Arab, a Muslim. You treat them like a person. It's easy to say, oh, I'm not racist. I accept everyone. But then when it comes to something that hits closer to home, like interfaith marriage is for Mr. Golden, then it's harder to, to be so tolerant. You stole the watch. Isn't that right, Ms. Wade? No! That isn't right! The jury stands are 71 people who are undecided, 8 people for Golden, and 109 for Wade. I voted for the plaintiff. I voted initially undecided. Right now, I'm leaning in favor of the plaintiff. I voted for the defendant. I think it's really just about how we take things as human beings and then how we act upon those emotions. I think this is a fabulous exercise, both in delving into our emotions, into what our biases are, and giving a great forum that I assume will continue, that people are going to bump into each other and going to continue with the conversation. falsely accused Ms. Wade of stealing your watch, causing her to lose the Siegel and Carmen account, and that, sir, is defamation, legally and morally. <laughs>